Hi everybody, my name is Chris and you're watching the Crazy Velo Chris channel. This is my first YouTube video and I hope you like it as much as I did recording it. And the uh, main end result will be something like this. Wow. All right. So let's get going. So I started with uh, a black primer and a Sonatel highlight. The main difference from the um, Zanatel highlight I see in most of the how-to videos, they're very slightly and I'm, I'm going a little bit more harder on the shadows and uh, you can see there are really, really black parts um, on this model and this is intended. So. Um, <clears throat> you can do this with a, with a spray can from directly above, or you can use an airbrush, whatever you have. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, the gradient is a little bit smoother with the airbrush, but you can, you can um, soften also uh, the transitions out with a really, really fluffy makeup brunch, brush. Uh, well, I'm, I'm talking about something like this. So with a very, very um, subtle and nice dry brush, you can get this, this highlights as well. So this is my main starting point uh, for the miniatures. So for the start, I go with uh, Gunmetal from Army Painter. And here I use my 50-50 uh, mix of Distilled water and some medium. I guess I used basic acrylics. This 50 50 ratio to thin down the paint. Especially with the metallics, it's always good to thin it a little bit down. So now I um, base coated all the silver with gun metallics. Just the barbed wire, the the gun, the tank, or the gas mask. For the next step, I use Space Wolf's gray. So I always start on the helmet, make a thin layer. Yeah, I tried to be as quick as possible, but there's not that much pooling or strange pattern on the big flat surface. As everybody knows, the contrast colors are not that great on big surfaces. For the next step, we use Gore Grunter 4. And I put already some on my palette. And we are now going for the leather straps. Um, in this case, the straps from the, from the rivals as well.
Agara's Dunes for the boots. That's the first step. The boots get another um, color as well. So let's get going. Now I go back to some Gore Grunterfur and um, do the tip and the heel of the um, of the boots. For the um, goggles, I use uh, Ian or Ian Yellow. For the next step, I use Wildwood for all the um, trench wood and the the guns here, yeah, the wood parts. For the base, I use um, Agarra's Dunes, Snake Bite Leather, Gillum and Flash, Wildwood, and Militarum Green. So now we start with the bases. Uh, this is a little bit, um, hmm, I would say, a, a, a nice chaotic. Um, Thing to do because um, I'm I'm really wild, going wild with the different colors and I just slap on some some of them. So we, for example, I start here with Agarra's Dunes. Give me a highlight spot. I mix some other color. And I'm always using a lot of thinner to get everything going. Make some green. Snake bite. Put here on some green. I got every white thing inside. Just wet blend into the different colors. So you get a nice variation of the different colors that are on the base. Uh, 
that I'm always working with the 50-50 mix to thin down everything to get nice transitions. See, I'm, I'm thinning down the wildwood and pushing back and forth. As long as I see, all right, now I'm happy with the color. And I could do something different. Put here some glim and flash. Garrus dunes. Green. Just let them work together. To be very careful not to stain your model. The next step will be an oil wash and therefore we use um, burnt amber and uh, mineral spirit or white spirit or turpentine, whatever you call it, it's, it's all more or less the same. So we need this for the thinning. Oh, I am using the... Um, Schminke normal, so just a little bit. So. Here you want this uh, to a very runny consistency. And slap it on. The whole miniature. Your paint uh, should be completely dry when you do this step. For the removal, I use this uh, makeup sponges. They come really cheap. So I just dip it in just a little bit. And I try to remove a little bit from the. And then. Just remove it. So there's one more thing to do. There's the Rust Tricks from AK Interactive. It's an AML color. Application is nearly the same. Similar 
Dust Streaks. Und die Barbed Wires. Same with the oil washes, you can remove this anytime after the application. And if you remove too much, don't worry, you can anytime put some more rust or other effects on top of that. We'll